What's up, everybody? It is Somi Blade here. Here's my thoughts on WWE and wrestling in general. Here's the good thing. A lot of independent wrestlers, I've always wanted to get into it. I've never really knew where to start. I mean, I'm from small town Wisconsin, so it's hard for me unless I make the trip out to Iowa to Seth Rollins school or go down to Chicago or head up north to Canada or somewhere in Minnesota. So I got a lot of schools around me. I just haven't found the time or the money to really invest in myself to make it a reality. But here's the great thing about independent wrestling and just wrestling in general, pro wrestling and the entertainment that is. I mean, sure, we can argue, oh, there's uh, it's not real wrestling. There's actual real pro wrestling. Yes, I know that there is, such as Olympic athletes. Here's the thing. A lot of those Olympic athletes, most of them end up going into the entertainment industry anyways, and they learn the craft because it pays a lot more money. And let's be honest, money fucking talks. It just does. It's as simple as that. Olympic gold medalist Kurt Angle, one of the greatest of all time in Olympic history, became a professional wrestler, and he's a Hall of Famer. Chad Gable competed in the Olympics, and now he's a professional wrestler, and he's doing great, and I wish they would push him, but in the world of Vince McMahon, he wants guys at least 6'2", 235 pounds, and can't and can wrestle like Hulk Hogan but be slightly better than the slightly better than that and therefore you get John Cena and like Roman Reigns is like John Cena 2.0 and now we got Becky Lynch who's you know I'm these people they can do so much more and a lot more in the ring but they don't get that creative freedom to do so so here is are my thoughts on professional wrestling in general It is great to be an independent wrestler because you have so many different outlets that you can go to. You can make a name in AEW. You can make a name in Impact Wrestling and Ring of Honor. Get onto your local indie scene around your state and around your surrounding states and really try to get noticed by these companies and get signed with them. So it's great. But now here's my gripe. That I have with the big W, the big the big company, Vince McMahon's WWE. My gripe with it is Vince McMahon is so out of touch and living in the past. Seriously. Vince, storylines from 15 to 20 years ago are not going to work in this day and age. Are you kidding me? Oh yeah, let's do a Lana and Rusev live sex celebration. Hmm, who did that? Oh yeah, Amy Dumas and Adam Copeland, a.k.a. Edge and Lita. They did that back nearly 15 years ago now. Back in what, 2005, 2006, if I remember correctly. It's the reality era, I get it. You're trying to bring more reality to it, but it's a storyline that's not going to work. And the only reason that they're agreeing to it is because you paid Lana and Rusev big money for their contracts to not go to, say, an AEW, a Ring of Honor, or Impact. The other three major players. Or they could have gone and made their uh, residence in Japan and make it a New Japan Pro Wrestling. Or they could have gone to Mexico and make it in... Triple A or Lucha Underground and all these other companies that are out there all over the world, or they could have jumped ship and gone into the European into the United Kingdom independent scene. They're only agreeing to let their marriage and this quote unquote uh affair play out on TV just because they're getting compensated very well for their brand new contracts. And the fact is In real life, Rusev and Lana are actually married. They actually do have a great relationship and a great marriage. And they agreed because, and Rusev is agreeing to this because now, since his wife signed a big contract, he himself is going to get a big contract. Phil Brooks said it years ago. He is just simply a spoke on the wheel 
And people like myself that subscribe to the WWE Network, that watch it on a weekly basis, that buy the merchandise of our favorite athletes and our favorite professional wrestlers, we keep pouring unnecessary money into it. And the wheel and the big machine of WWE is going to keep turning and turning and turning. And it's going to keep running regardless. But here's what, as a fan like myself, want. I don't care for the reality TV aspect of WWE. I really don't. I care about what professional wrestling. That's right, Vince. I'm going to use that term. Professional wrestling. What it used to be were wins and losses. Yes, it's scripted entertainment. But wins and losses actually used to matter. People chasing titles. We need to make titles like the Intercontinental Championship and the U.S. Championship on their respective brands of Raw and SmackDown. Relevant again. That is truly something that we need. Somebody like Shinsuke Nakamura that became a big name in New Japan Wrestling who had a great feud with AJ Styles and now you turn him into a heel And you had him win the U.S. title and the Intercontinental title as consolation prizes. Imagine how much more money you could have made had you given a legitimate star with a legitimate MMA background like Nakamura the WWE Heavyweight Championship. And how much more you could have paid him And bring more of the Japanese market from New Japan Pro Wrestling. Let's think about that for a second. You could have signed somebody like the Young Bucks. You could have signed somebody like Kenny Omega. You could have signed Cody Rhodes, that is, back on to WWE. Those people would have never gone out and created AEW to give you an alternative outlet. And now look at Dean Ambrose... Went back to being John Moxley. He's looking healthier. He looks freer. And he's doing some of his best work that he's done in years because he's playing more to how he wants to portray- be portrayed. And that's the crazy lunatic that can let loose and that nobody really has the balls to stand to him because they know they're going to be in a fight with John Moxley. This rant's just getting too long. It really is. WWE needs to stop recycling and rehashing old storylines with new characters in this day and age that just aren't going to work anymore. Now, would it be boring if we just went back to, oh, just standard wrestling matches? I necessarily don't think so. I don't think that would be boring. Remember way back in the day, chasing the title. You want to follow these athletes. You want to follow them like, ooh, let's take Shinsuke Nakamura, for example. How is Shinsuke training? How is he mentally preparing to basically drop the IC title to whoever's next in line to make it really relevant and challenge the heavyweight champion? That's what, like, imagine just watching that storyline and then you could just do match after match after match. Like, him and Styles should have been feuding back and forth with the WWE Championship. Like, imagine if Nakamura had won at WrestleMania against Styles. That would have propelled him to the stratosphere and AJ taking the loss would not have hurt him at all. Those two could have had the feud of the summer. But what happened? Resorted to, let's just see who can kick who in the balls more. Let's see who's going to play the heel. Oh, AJ Styles is the face, but now he's going to resort to some heel tactics. Just to level the playing field with Nakamura because he's the heel. Seriously? This is just getting ridiculous. It's one of those... I'm watching YouTubers review 
wrestling shows like Raw, SmackDown more entertaining in the 15 to 20 minutes. Shout out to What Culture. What's up, Simon Miller? Ups and downs. I enjoyed your ups and clowns, by the way. That was great. If you do see this video, give me an up. I'm sure you'll agree with a lot of my points. We just... Can professional wrestling ever get back to where it was? I enjoy NXT. I will give Triple H the benefit of the doubt that he understands it because he's coming from a professional wrestling background that learned the executive role very well and took to it very well. And his wife has helped him and his father-in-law has helped him. I think it's time for Triple H and Stephanie to take over. Pun definitely intended. Because if you don't get that pun, watch NXT, please. NXT takeovers. Some of the best wrestling on the men's and women's and tag teams that you will ever see. And their rival is AEW on Wednesday nights. There's a war, but there isn't a war. You can watch both. One week, you're one of those like, okay, let's see if I want to continue with the storylines of NXT. And you know what? Nothing's really catching my eye. Let's see what storylines they'll have with AEW. And it's great that a veteran like Chris Jericho can really make himself relevant in 2019. So, what's for what's the future hold for professional wrestling? I hope it becomes cool again. I hope a lot of people watch it. And if it becomes relevant and becomes as big as pop culture as it was in the mid to late 90s like the attitude era was where everybody knew who people like stone cold steve austin and dwayne the rock johnson were before they went obviously to their real names because they're acting in these in this day and age we'll see and with that i'm gonna end there don't forget get a taste of a little bit of the bubbly. Shout out to Y2J Chris Jericho there.